Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a highly requested video ever since I moved uh, at the end of February of this year. Um, it has been highly requested that I do a bathroom tour, a room tour, and an office tour because uh, my rooms are kind of all combined and I show you that at the beginning of this video how there's like a little hallway that connects all of three of my rooms. Anyways, so um, <laughs> my bathroom is the first room that I am completely done with and pretty satisfied with so I thought that I would do a bathroom tour today. I'm in my bathroom already. Um, it's a little bit echoing here, I'm sorry, but um, I hope it's not that bad that we can like deal with it. Um, I am really proud of my bathroom. I designed everything myself, so like I picked my wall color, I picked all the tile that is on the floor and in my bath shower, um, also like the accent tiles, I picked all the accessories, um, and really got to like make it my own. I even painted my vanity myself. When designing my bathroom, I took a ton of inspiration off Tumblr and I really just wanted like an all white kind of like spa bathroom um, and I think I really achieved that. It's really like sparkly and white and pretty and I just love it. It's like my dream so I hope you guys enjoy it too and let's get started. So this is the view from my hallway. Uh, my bathroom is in the middle. To my right is my bedroom door and then to my left is my office. So let's begin the bathroom tour. So this is the entrance of my bathroom and a quick overview. So let's begin down below here with the vanity. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about it and then I'll also go through the drawers as well. Um, so the this vanity was already here, uh, but I painted it white to go with my theme and then I got a new countertop for it. So this is a, a granite and it has like sparkly specks in it and I just love it. Everything is white, it has like a hint of blue to it. And then um, I replaced the knobs and these are from Home Depot and I love the crystals. Um, so I guess I'll just begin by showing you what's inside. So inside my top drawer here I just keep my essentials. So I have my hairbrushes, in here I have some bobby pins, um, in here are some small elastics, some uh, more hair ties, headbands, hair clips. I don't know why I have a pair of sunglasses in here. Um, some more hair ties and headbands. In the back I have Q-tips, um, some ointments, some gum, extra toothpaste, Advil, and band-aids. So that's all inside the top drawer. Inside the next drawer I just keep my most used ha hair tools. So I have my blow dryer, my straightener, uh, my curling wand, um, a mini travel uh, hair dryer as well and then a mirror and then inside the bottom drawer I just have some other hair tools that I don't necessarily use all the time so I have some other curling irons and um, like blow dryer attachments so moving over to the cabinets underneath the sink um, I just have some hair products and some hair stuff uh, cleaning products in the center and then I have these drawer compartments that I will give you a better look at. So these drawer compartments I got from Walmart and they're really cool because they stack and at Walmart they also have different sizes that you can stack and create your own little like structure but I just got these two because I felt like I needed some more drawer space in my vanity. Um, so on top I just have some extra uh, baby wipes that I actually use to remove my makeup. Uh, so these are just some refills. Then I have my teeth whitening kit and a hot water bottle. In the top drawer, this is kind of um, <laughs> a mess, but it's an organized mess because I know what everything is. So this is some extra stuff that I got from the dentist, some extra cotton balls underneath, um, a shower cap, some more travel wipes, soap, more soap, extra razors, and some uh, like tensor bandages. Um, and then this is self-explanatory. Then moving on to the drawers on the left. So in the top drawer is where I store my makeup. I don't have the largest makeup collection, but this is just kind of the stuff that I use. So in this uh, makeup bag is the stuff that I use every single day. Um, and then underneath it I just have some like makeup palettes and stuff, my naked palette in there too. Um, and then I have just some makeup that I don't necessarily use every day and some lip balms and stuff. Um, and then some makeup tools like 
scissors and tweezers and stuff. Um, and then I store everything in like these little plastic containers that you would get from like, let's say a box of Oreos. Um, and I have a video on that and I just use that to make everything organized. So if you would like to see that video where I talked about things more in detail, uh, I will definitely link it down below. It's pretty old though. So in the second drawer is where I keep my nail polish. Um, it's not too organized right now. I didn't like reorganize it for this video or anything. Um, if you'd like to see a more in detail nail polish collection where um, I show you my method to my madness here, <laughs> why I put, it, put everything the way it is, and uh, maybe some more detail about um, my favorite nail polishes, then thumbs up this video and leave me a comment below. So now that I covered everything inside the drawers and the cupboards, I'm going to cover everything on top. So starting over here, I have a glass container that um, I have most of my essential products, so like my face wash, um, hand cream, face cream, pimple cream, mouth wash, um, makeup remover, some body sprays that I like using, and a lint roller. And then next to that, I have another glass container that I just keep my makeup brushes in. So these glass containers you can find like anywhere for really inexpensive, like the dollar store. But this, I'm pretty sure I got this one um, like at a bridal shower or a wedding where you win the centerpiece. I think it had flowers in it or something, but I just used it in my bathroom. And I really like glass containers because it kind of just goes with my theme of everything being um, like very simple, clean, and white in glass. <laughs> so now we've made our way to the sink and I really like my sink. Um, it's just a simple rectangle and it kind of goes with just like all the shapes of my backsplash that I picked here. This also is um, repeated again inside the shower which I will show you. Um, so it just kind of matches and then everything is very simple. I like my faucet. Um, the like round um, faucet kind of matches um, like my toothbrush holder which has some rhinestones again which matches like the handles on the vanity um, so yeah I just keep my toothbrush my toothpaste um, and then my soap um, even the soap kind of matches my bathroom which I didn't really intend to do I just really like the scent of that one um, and then my dish also has some rhinestones on it so it's very pretty this is from um, uh, this I think is from Walmart and this is from home sense I believe. And the last thing on top of my countertop is this little Huggies container with baby wipes in it and I use that to take off my makeup. Um, I don't like too much on my countertop as you can see. I like to keep things pretty simple and organized and that is everything that's on top. Okay, so I think I can manage to do the rest of this um, holding my camera and not on my tripod. Uh, it's just a lot easier. So my mirror here is very simple. It's just like a mirror on the wall. It doesn't have a frame or anything, but I like how simple it is and it was actually here already. So uh, I didn't want to get a new mirror. And then uh, this light fixture was already here as well. It has the silver hardware and then I added these crystals on top to kind of go with my theme. Uh, let me turn off the light so you can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, too dark. There we go, that's what it looks like. Okay, so moving on. Um, then I have this towel rack that I also doubled as a toilet paper holder. It's not supposed to be, like you're supposed to put another towel here, but um, for the longest time when I moved in, I didn't have a toilet uh, paper holder, so I just thought I would put it there and it kind of works, so... Yeah, uh, then I have a, t a trash can, a toilet, this air freshener that's automatic and it scares people when they come into my bathroom. It's really cool. <laughs> um, and then toilet paper in the corner there. So since I've been filming this, you can kind of see that the sun's going down. Um, but usually there's a lot of light that comes in through this window and I have these sheer blinds or sheer curtains, sorry, that let in the light and um, this really cute um, tie back that is a flower and it kind of has those crystals. Um, honestly, normally I don't tie back the curtains um, because I don't like people seeing me in the bathroom, but uh, for the sake of this video I did to let in some extra light. So it's very pretty and I like this window. So right below my shower I have the world's softest bath mat ever. It's white and fluffy. It's from Walmart and I love that it's white because it matches my bathroom but it gets so dirty because it's like a microfiber material and I always get soft lint on it 
uh, but it vacuums off so it's fine and then um, now you can see the detail in my floor it's white but also has like a green going through it that's like a beigey gray color um, and it really just adds some texture I love the tile on my floor that I picked uh, and then right here is my bathtub so the same tile that's on the floor is also in the shower uh, and then the same accent tile that I have as my backsplash I also have it arranged on the wall in a rectangle so I designed that and I'm just so proud of it and then um, inside my shower I have a shelf with my products on it. Should I go inside and do like a little uh, bathtub shower tour? Sure, why not? So this also turned into a what's in my shower. Sorry it's really echoey in here, it's because of the glass doors. But um, the first product here that I keep in my shower is um, this face wash and it has like charcoal in it or something and it's really cool color and it's really tingly and it wakes you up. Um, so I really love this and my friend Alyssa uh, gave this to me and introduced it to me. I love it and it's great in the shower because um, it just wakes you up in the morning. Then I have this St. Eyes scrub that I use occasionally um, and it's really good. It smells nice. Uh, this shampoo, the Naked, sh or that's conditioner, sorry, and then this is the shampoo. It smells really good. And then I have a Head and Shoulders uh, shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo is green apple and the conditioner is not, it's just like a like moisturizing one. And then my razor. Ooh, it's so exciting! And then this is just my shower head. It has a soap dish up there and then a loofah. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And then I just close the glass doors and we're back. So finally we are back. Uh, this is the door that we entered through and this is a closet. So I'm just going to show you, it's just a linen closet. Um, has my laundry basket, a broom to sweep up all my hair once I brush it, uh, lots of towels, robes, and yes, yeah, so I have the um, back of the door hanger thingy that I hang my towels and my robes on to dry, so that's really cool. And you can get these like at the dollar store, but I think this one might be from Walmart because it has like quite a few hooks and it's a little bit bigger. Um, but I really recommend that you get like over the door hanging uh, because it's really helpful for organization and yeah, so I use the shelves here and this laundry basket is from Walmart. It's also really full. I need to do laundry. So we're back to the beginning now and something that I really hate is that the two doors are behind each other and this one always hits it. I know I can get like a stopper for the top. I need to do that, but it's just so annoying. The Whenever I open my bathroom door, it always hits the closet. But anyways, so that wraps up the bathroom tour. I hope you guys all enjoy. Um, if there's anything that you would add to my bathroom, I'm always open to suggestions. Leave me a comment below and I think that'd be really cool because I'm looking for maybe some like art to go on the wall. I don't want it to be too cluttered. That's why I haven't gotten anything yet. But um, if you guys can suggest something, that would be awesome. I'm I, like, you guys always come up with the best suggestions. But other than that, um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if, if you are not subscribed already, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!